My name is Mina. In today's video, we'll use Excel solver function to calculate wavelengths. Before I start, I will show you on a schematic a few parameters for waves. First, it's our wavelengths, lambda. And this is defined as the distance between two adjacent crests, A and B. Also, wave height, which is the distance between wave crest and wave trough. Trough is the minimal point and crest is the maximum point. Half of the wave height is amplitude, A, H divided by 2. We also define wave speed as the wavelength divided by wave period. T is the wave period. Uh, and we define water depth as small letter D. Um, C, water level at rest, is where our coordinate system is defined. Origin is at the sea water level at rest. X is the longitudinal coordinate and Z is our vertical coordinate. Since our origin is at the seawater level at rest, it means that Z is negative below the seawater level at rest. So we will need to calculate lambda and for this we will use this equation. And you can see in this equation, lambda is on both sides of this equation. To solve this equation, you need to use iteration method. And you can very quickly use Excel's solve function to solve this equation. By the way, this equation can be derived from dispersion equation, which links uh, wave frequency with wave number. So, sigma is the wave frequency, which is defined as 2 pi divided by wave period. And k is the wave number, which is defined as 2 pi divided by wave length. So, let's calculate lambda using Excel solver. So, we'll go to Excel and calculate this. Let's use Excel to calculate the wavelengths. For your convenience, I show my uh, diagram with definitions on the same spreadsheet, and I also show this equation which I will be using to calculate wavelengths. I will move it a little bit, and I will put my equation here that you can see. So what solver function does, we will calculate the wavelength. So in this cell, which is C9, this is my equation, exactly the same what you see here. So exactly the same equation I use in um, cell C9. So this is my equation. So <clears throat> first of all, uh, let's see, uh, let's check the equation. So you can see my equation is C2 which is my acceleration, so gravity, multiplied by C5 in power 2, which is my wave period, period in power 2, and divided in brackets 2 multiplied by C3, which is my pi. And then we have our function, hyperbolic tangent, and under hyperbolic tangent symbol, we have 2 pi, which is again 2 C3, multiplied by C6, which is our water depth, and divided by lambda. And in this case, my lambda is in the cell, which I call wavelength trial, which is C7. So I just use any number, for example, 180 meters, to calculate my lambda in this equation on the left-hand side. As you can see, these two values are different but they should be exactly the same because this is the same lambda. So to use the, uh, to calculate this, we use Excel solver function. To calculate, uh, to use Excel for solver function, you can find this using your data, data tab and your <coughs> data tab, your Excel solver function should be um, at the end of this tab. As you can see, there is no, um, this, uh, tab solver, therefore you have to add uh, this solver function. To add this, we go to um, 
we go to options, file, options, and then adds, add ins, and we find Excel Solver. As you can see, Excel Solver in my spreadsheet is in active application, and therefore I could not see it on my tab, which is data tab. So when you click go, and now you can see different applications which uh, you can add. And one of them, which I'm looking for, is the solver. So when I click Add, this solver now appears on my tab, which is Data tab. And you can see the solver function. So to use solver function, you click on Solver, and then you set your objective, which is, in my case, it's C9. You can see it's C9 because this is where your formula is. And then by changing the cell, which is changing the cell, which is your C7. And in C7, we have our trial value of wavelengths. So you can see our trial value. So by changing this trial value, we want to calculate wavelengths. And now we have to put some conditions or constraints. And our constraints obviously would be that the left-hand side of this equation, which is lambda calculated using equation, should be equal to lambda on the right-hand side, which is our trial value. So, and this is my constraint. Say, for example, I delete this and I just put new constraint. So, in this constraint would be my calculated value should be equal to my trial value. So C9 should be equal to C7. So I uh, edit this and I clicked OK. I clicked OK. So this condition now is in your constraints. You can put as many conditions as you like and you click Solve. And Excel will do iteration method uh, using this method, which is GRG nonlinear method, to determine our lambda value. And finally, we keep our solved solution. And this, as you can see, our solution is 224.7 meters. And both values, C7, our trial value, is equal to the value of wavelengths calculated by this equation. By the way, solar function can be used to calculate various engineering problems. For example, when you calculate friction factor using Colbrook-White equation, because in Colbrook-White equation, your friction factor is also on both sides of equation. If you are interested, let me know and I will prepare another video. If you have questions, please write your comments and I will try to answer. Goodbye.